It's all about a buzz in the garden. That buzz, of course, is bees and bees matter. We're going to talk about beesmatter.ca, buzzing gardens, and also about pollinating plants with Paul Zamet this morning. Paul, you love bees overall. I do. I think they're very, very important, fundamental to all the food that we eat and just the survival of plants all around the world in general. They are critical. Yeah, National Planting Week. That's coming up June the 5th to the 12th. Bees Matter has designated that. And what do we have here? We have some wonderful seed packages with some native plants that even though that's the planting week, we can certainly get started now. We should be gardening all of the time. So in these packages, you've got some wonderful natives that you can be sowing the seed for. You can either do them directly into the garden, Frank, or I would suggest because their perennials are a little bit slower, starting them in advance, sprinkle them, press them into the ground. No need to really, really bury them and then put them into a humidity chamber. Want to get some moisture on top of them. Right there. Thank you, my friend. Yes. And then we'll just give them cover up so that they can have some humidity in order to be able to germinate. Now those seed packs are, are totally free. You can go to beesmatter.ca to find those. Tell me about some of the plants. They're non-invasive, that's important too. Very important. That's one of the buzzwords that we hear around right now. So people are concerned about what they're planting. So they've selected, very carefully selected some native plants, including many of my favorites, Liatris, magnet to the bees and to the butterflies, Helenium or sneezeweed, doesn't make Sneeze you sneeze. It's a fall no. bloomer, but it is a <laughs> magnet to the bees in the fall. They feed on that. They've also got different types of coreopsis in oh, here, I two different Coriopsis. selections. Long, long blooming. Both also make excellent cut flowers. So really a wonderful blend of seeds within these packages. And it also comes with a beautiful chart of other plants as well. A lot of them dry tolerant as well. Yes, once they become established. And that's important, using our resources carefully. Tell me about bees. Of course, the bees, uh, you know, populations have started to rise a little bit as well. They are the workers in the garden that help us with our food. For sure, so much of their food depends. We wouldn't have apples and strawberries if it were not for bees, cucumbers. So people need to be very, very conscious of that. They're also very responsible for our plants multiplying all around the world for setting seed. So they do so much, not only our uh, non-native bees, but also native bees as well. So and really critical. They create new varieties too sometimes as they they're going They do a little around. bit of playing. We see that with some of our hellebores in the garden here. It's like, ah, I don't recognize that one. And they'll result in new, new hybrids forming. And the end product, of course, is honey and honey is something that never goes bad. That's true, they found it in the pyramids. It lasts forever and it's so good for you. All sorts of nutritional properties. Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, this morning we're with Toronto Botanical Gardens. We're talking about Bees Matter, beesmatters.ca. Paul Zamis with me, Kathy as well. This is your hives here it at is. TVG. Yeah, One this is five. awesome. Yeah, awesome. So tell me what we're going to do here. So I guess we're just going to go take a look at one of the frames. That's right. We're smoking them down just to calm them down a little bit. And right. then we'll open up. And uh, we've been very thrilled, Frank, with what we've seen inside already. Great temperament, lots of production already, um, which is getting us quite excited. And with the coming temperatures, we'll certainly see a lot of activities from them. But just look at the volume of them. Yeah, as it's cooler temperatures, they're a little less active. As the temperature warms up, they seem to really go out there and work. You can see right now, we're just waking them up a bit so you can see a few flying around. Um, people always worry about working with bees, but it's really quite easy once you get to know what you're doing. Exactly, and being quite calm around them, not moving too quickly. It's really that temperament that's really, really important. Not being within their flight path, particularly when they're coming towards the hive. These are all many important factors when you are working around bees. And the smoking doesn't harm the bee whatsoever. It's just that's really correct. just to make them a little bit more docile. Exactly. So here's a look at one of the frames that would be in a hive that's gonna produce honey. There's the honeycomb that's there. I'm gonna look take at the, the fantastic color. Yeah, we're gonna go right there. So there's a look at some of the hives and just take a look at how they're working and how they're building. Can you talk about how they build? Yeah, it's pretty incredible how they'll build the individual cells, which then they will then fill up with all their uh, honey from all the nectar that they've collected, and then they'll cap that off. Inside here, it looks like we've got nine. It has space for 10, but if we put nine of these inside here, it actually allows to maximize the honey production. And if the queen leaves the hive, what happens? We get a swarm, and that has happened here, where we see thousands of bees follow the queen. It's quite magical to see, and they'll, she'll, she'll just sit let nest in a branch and then all of them would follow her and then we just simply go out and collect them get them into a box and try and get them back to a hive yeah once you put the queen in the hive they all follow they do follow that's amazing yeah. so there's a look at the hive that's there one thing that we really want to promote today is about national planting week that's going to be june the 5th to june the 12th that's where you can get those beautiful seeds uh, go to beesmatter.ca and you can find out a little bit more about that and about the seeds and this is what it's all about those are your pollinators right there that work away and you said these are all the females. That's correct. That's correct. And let's look at the volume of the honey that's inside there already. Look, you can see the honey right there. So and there's we'll a little look inside the hive. 
Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm amazed, Paul. I'm amazed. You just told me something about this honey stick, and that's what a bee produces in, in its her, entire in life? entire lifetime. So just half a teaspoon. So really oh. imp important that we make sure that we're planting for the bees. Yeah, and that's what you have there, Bees Matter. It's uh, the Buzzing Gardens. It's a free kit. You go to beesmatter.ca. And in the mail, you get this wonderful information package with a list of plants that are native all across the country. And then you get the free packages of seeds in here with things like penstemon and coreopsis and asters, very, very key for our pollinators. Yeah, and if you're at home right now and you want to maybe help the garden right now, there's a $350 Canadian Tire Garden Center gift certificate that you can go. So you're just going to go to Daily Prizing on our website. You'll be able to get that. The end product, of course, is the honey. There's so many different types that you have here. Tell me about that dark one that's, that's there. That's buckwheat. So Honey is influenced, the taste and the color is influenced by what the bees are feeding on. So in this case here, that is a monifloral, which means that they fed just within a buckwheat field. And then cool. when the flowering is done, the hives are taken away and the honey is captured. And the flavor as well would be different. It, yes, it tends to be quite heavy, very good for you. All sorts of nutritional properties. National Planting Week, June the 5th to the 12th. Of course, we're really encouraging people to plant those pollinating plants. Every plant that you add to your garden has potential. Bees love white flowers, blue flowers, purple flowers, and yellow. The shape of the flower is very important for honeybees. Tubular or flat flowers on which that they can land, very key. Parsley. Yes, also really, really important for things like swallowtail butterflies. Yeah, because so. it's not just about the bees that are pollinators. There's so many other pollinators. So that many are out others, there. yes. So once again, go to beesmatter.ca for more information. Go on our website to win that gift certificate. And just a reminder to you that's all the honey right there. We need to help. We Every need bit to helps. Help. help the bees.